No, I am so excited today. I want y'all to know this though. I got up and I worked up this worked out this morning. And then my daughter calls me after the workout. It's like, Mom, do you want to go on a walk? So I'm getting ready to go on a walk with her in a few minutes. But I just wanted to tap in with you today because I am so excited here lately. And I just feel it's because God has given us a breakthrough. And although sometimes it's hard for us to acknowledge a breakthrough because we're physically trying to see it. But breakthrough begins in your spirit first. And as you think about your day today on this beautiful, beautiful Sabbath day today, like I do my coaching clients, I want you to think about how it would actually really feel if you were just walking in your purpose. If you were the absolute best version of you, if you could just accept where you are today, imagine how that would feel. Because I want you to know that God created you so that you could feel real, so that you could feel authentic, so you could feel exactly who he is. And the more that we begin to really pour into that relationship with him, he will begin to pour even more into us. And I want you to think about that today. Think about the things that you are so grateful for. Think about the ways that you can just give to someone today just by saying hi or just being a pleasant person. Think about the things that you would be doing if there were not any issues in your life any barriers in your life, any financial problems in your life. Just think about that today. How would you feel today? What would you do today? How would you smile today? And just feel that for the rest of your day. Because I understand that we are all human. And although the enemy is always striking, but we should take just one day a week if nothing else, just one day, just to think about how blessed we are and how privileged we are to know God and to know Jesus. We should take one day to thank God for giving us the chance to just be who he has created us to be. And I want you to really focus on you today. Focus on how you feel today. Focus on what makes you sincerely happy. I want you to take a self day to really reflect on how much you love yourself. Take the day to really truly reflect how it feels to just be in your own company. Take this day to truly reflect how grateful you are just for being you. Because when you love you for real, for real, you begin to see all the good things. And I know sometimes, you know, we have had experiences with narcissistic people, toxic people, and just craziness, right? And I am talking about really establishing a great loving relationship with yourself from a healthy approach in God, really taking the time to take care of you, level up your game when it comes to loving you. Be really specific about three things that you truly want to experience in the next three months and go 100% all in with that. Don't wait into January to really begin to make a declaration for your commitment to you. Start right now. Enter into a place of really upgrading your life, upgrading everything about you. Try to get in five to 10,000 steps a day. Drink and hydrate yourself. Look for organic fruit and vegetables from a local market. Really take the time to write in your journals to really, you know, analyze the way that you feel and the way that you're thinking. Really take a moment every day to thank God for just waking you up and being so loving towards you. Really speak life over your day by declaring that in this day, I'm going to get something great out of your day and retire at night by thanking God for just allowing you to learn something in that day and really tap in to who you are. Like I tell my clients, 
Really tap into who you are. Really love yourself. Upgrade your life. Find that joy. Find that love. Find that peace inside of your soul. Because when God gives you peace, you already got it. But when you can activate a good feeling for yourself and activate everything good on the inside of you, then you're not really looking outside of yourself for it. And you're not hanging on just hoping that somebody will give that to you. It's something really spiritual that transfers over to you from God when you can really allow him in and allow him to activate that good feeling, that giddiness, that excitement, that joy, that peace, that ambition, and all of the expectancy of what is great today that's going to happen in your life. So take this time today to truly reflect and focus on you and how you can improve yourself. Fall madly in love with yourself as you continue to evolve and unfold into the highest expression that God had in mind when he created you. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. peace and I still be believing in you have a good day